Let's see, how's this pipe doing? Still leaving at almost 60, so... I mean, it's taking heat. This isn't heating... Well, okay, it's heating up just slowly. It appears getting pretty hot. This area is getting pretty hot pretty quickly. Oh, sweet, this is done. Okay. Automation time. Let's turn this off. That did a thing. Okay, let's turn this off so I can actually see what signal it's sending. Okay, currently it's sending green. If I hit the reset button... Oh, actually, let's turn this off, too. Okay, so currently it's sending a green signal out. What happens if I hit the switch? Okay, it stays green, so I don't know what that does. But if I hit this, it turns off. But if I hit this, it doesn't do anything. Uh, let's say if it stays on, and I hit this. Now it sends out a green signal. If I hit this, and then I hit this... Yeah, I don't know. What is this, just a glorified switch? No, don't do that. Okay, so this is the output, so I don't actually need that. Or at least hitting that button's not going to do anything. Okay, so that is the reset button. Green signal resets the internal memory to red. Red signal has no effect. So, bam. This currently is doing nothing. According to that. Now this. Set the internal memory to green. Reset the internal memory to red. So this sets it to green. Alright. Wait. Wait, wait, I think I'm grasping it. Okay, so it's now going to constantly, if it gets one pulse, it's going to stay green. But if it gets another pulse, let's say this switch, it turns it off. And it doesn't do anything anymore. Because then this has to be triggered. So when this gets hit, It'll turn off. Okay. I think I got it. So if this gets a green signal, it'll permanently send out a green signal. Correct? Correct. Now, no matter what I do here, it's going to stay a green signal. Until this button gets hit, then it's immediately going to turn off. And no matter what this does, it's going to stay off until this one gets a signal. Got it. I, I, well, then there's this. That's because this is on. But then it doesn't do anything. Okay. Ooh, it's a pip. Reject. Okay, I think I got it. I think. Maybe. Also, we can't build that here. Uh, hmm. Anyways, so let's say this is not a green signal. Shit. Hold up, I need to do my mock-up. Quick. Memory setup. Thing is, I think this should actually be over here. Like right here? 
Ish. It is at the XOR gate here. Or should I go after the XOR gate? Hmm. This is a little bit too complicated. Either way, I know they can't build this here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to deconstruct that. We could probably just run it down that way. So we'll have the dupes. I guess work on that right now. But. Okay, so this is the ultimate output. So I hit the switch. I want to turn the system on. So the system is now on. So no matter what I do with the switch, it is on. I just have to make sure to hit the button twice, because then it'll stay on. So if we go up here, if this goes through the memory gate here, I hit the switch, it'll send out a green signal. Okay? That's great. So we'll go here, go to the memory, it'll send a green signal, it'll keep both of these on. So when gas passes through that, This will turn it off and then it will stay up. That's assuming I hit this button twice because if this stays on and this gets tripped, it'll just go back on when this is off. I got a delay. So that doesn't turn on immediately. Or an alert telling me I left the switch on. That's probably the best way to do it. But I don't see any other way. At least I don't have to use the XOR gate if I do that. I don't know, the XOR gate's simpler. set up the memory toggle for now okay where does it have to go so the actual switch switch needs to be on s yes okay and the reset will be on the other switch It will actually be like right there, so we need to deconstruct all this. We'll put the memory gate here. I'll leave one space in case I left the switch on. Yeah, so I'm gonna put an alert there. So this will send out a green signal. We'll revert it to red. Whenever it hits steam. So I hit the switch, it'll hit green, steam hits here, and revert the red, but then this will turn off. Then all that steam is going to stay in the system. That begs the question, why is there even a valve here? That's a very good question. Because in this situation, I don't need a valve here. I could just do that.
Because once it senses there's too much gas, it'll already dump it. Because then it'll just shut off the pump, and then we're fine. But I can put the sensor down here, and it doesn't need to be up there. Well, it does have to be on this row because of the rocket, so... I guess that's fine. Look, this is a test to make sure this even works. You only have two people in there at a time, not three. Also, they're done over here, which is fantastic. And this is still fake water. Unfortunate. Um... I'm trying to keep the heat in. I guess you try and use more automation. Either way, I'm gonna need a door. Hold up, how does my lock go? I think open means no heat transfer, right? Yes. Open is no heat. I am lost. Okay, so what I can do is use three doors. Let's say here. gonna go ahead and run this one down right here so I can deconstruct this so I want a floor here because we can then deconstruct that so this will fill up and then we'll put this here we'll put this here it'll be like that Alright, so they're gonna build this. That, this will become a wall, this will fill up. So we will have a hydro sensor. Here. We'll have a hydro and a Thermo sensor. No, because the thermo sensor is always going to be tripped. I'm just trying to stop the heat from getting out as much as possible. So this one's always going to be open. But when this oil gets up to, let's say... And this doesn't actually produce much oil, does it? I guess we'll just put it here. Actually, it's really hot though. This copper hopefully should be fine. But this will just open these two. It's unreachable because of the doors. Of course it is. You construct the doors. This one
This wouldn't hurt just to put it right here. Someone's burning themselves. Okay, for one, how did you get down there without a suit? Wait, what do you have on? You have a gas mask? Hold up. Oops. How? No, 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 no. Get, get up here immediately. Not that. Oh, you are moving. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Run. How did you even get that suit down here? Clearance always permitted? I know you're scolding, that's because you did a dum-dum. Now get moving. We're about to run out of air too, so... Where's your next air pocket? Um... Up there, do you think you can make it? I want to catch your breath first. Nah, I think you can make it. Yo, I knew you can do it. I know it's toasty, but you walk through water, it's not boiling. Now, unequip that suit and get inside the base. Now you can rest. After you go to the hospital. And Devon, apparently, because he hurt himself somehow. I want to figure out how you did that. But I'm pretty sure the only place you can get the air mask is from up here. Which doesn't have an oxygen mask. How did you steal the suit? Because you'd have to put it back when you re-entered. This is not the first time that's happened. It, he's done- they've done this again before. I just don't know how they're doing it. Whatever. Please don't do that again. Now, what's entombed? You're entombed. Why? What is that? Iron ore? What? Why is there iron ore in my base? Like, is that like... Is that iron ore ore? Yeah, that's just straight up iron ore. Hmm. Curious. Also, is this stuck open? No, it's not. The breathability over here is bad for some reason. What did you do? Is something off gassing that shouldn't? It's not this. Maybe this accidentally just dumped a bunch of gas again. Possibility. Or it came from up here because this thing was running. That is most likely what happened. I mean, there is very little circulation over here. Yeah, that's probably what happened. I really need to find a better air trap for that because currently it's just flowing through my base. There's nothing stopping it from getting down.
That's jammed. I guess I could reroute these over on top to hit all three of them just to try and fill it. Be one way. It's not causing any backup problems right now. The hydrogen is not going to be flowing for another 20 cycles, so I'll just let it sit for a little bit. I am, however, out of uh, hydrogen, so uh, we'll de go ahead and deconstruct all this. Too wet. Okay, which one of these opens the door? That one activates the pump. No, it resets it? Oh no, it's a, it's a, a water belt. Okay, this one opens the door. A little bit more. Oh, these don't really need much water. I'm gonna go ahead and let it balance out for a little bit. There's more over here than there is a lot more over here. So it should even out. Hopefully, it should even out to be correct. I'll take Galaxy Frenzy. No, I'm never gonna use it. That's good, that's good. Oh, sweet. And where's the, um. Uh, where's the memory toggle I told you to build right here? Did it break? Here, build out of steel this time. And turn that off. We don't actually need this here anymore. Oh yeah, we need the... Hmm, this. How about when this is ready to launch, it sends a green signal. So I need a... I need a not gate. Here. Which will flow like that. We'll just deconstruct this right here. That should work. That's what dupes work on that. Hopefully that works. I'm gonna have an AND gate, so I need both that and this. To actually switch the doors over. I guess the switch could be like anywhere else. It doesn't have to be there. Okay, now this. They can't reach that. They need a ladder. Ew. 
Like that. This will send a green signal if above... Yeah, we'll go with 500. So we'll work on that. That'll get set. I'll block this off right here. Then go ahead and build the turbine on top. This will be like that. Does it need coolant? Most likely. of lead no steel oh wait I could choose what material it's made out of oh okay wait what are the others made out of lead um okay Actually, wait, wait, how much steel does that even take? A lot. Uh, no, nah, we'll use copper. Now, for heavy watt... Yeah, we'll go ahead and use copper as well. Since it's supposed to be a vacuum, we'll just do that. Go ahead and just put this here. We'll go ahead and just put a bridge there. And this will just connect like that. There. That'll keep my dupes busy for a little bit. Quite a while. We have to hold all that copper. While they're doing that, let's see, I need this. I will go ahead and make it insulated, but we'll just use ignis. We use granite, I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter too much. I do need to get water up here to initially prime it. Or I could use another sacrificial pump. I don't know, sacrificial pumps are quite soft. You can pull water from down here. You can get water from this thing, actually. Here. Someone's scolding again. I need insulated for this, don't I? To run it through there, I do, because it's going to be hot. You know what? I'll just leave it there. Now, my alert's gone, so I don't know exactly who. But this is flooding. Um, why? Where's that water coming from? Um, oh, well, it would seem I flooded my, um, 
I completely forgot about this. Oopsies. It would appear I've been flooding my base this entire time and I did not notice. That is fantastic. Petroleum Reservoir is in fact shrinking. Oil's going up though. Which means I need to stop using so much oil. Well, it wasn't too much of a problem, but then again... I have apparently been using a lot more power. Well, I did add more aqua tuners, so yes, yeah, that makes sense. This has been running more consistently. Okay, is what I think happening not actually happening? Because I'm hoping this is leaching heat from the solar panel to cool these down. That's what I hope is going on, but these are just breaking. That's why I connected them like this. I hope it would spread the heat out. Also, those temp shift plates are made of diamonds. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, throw down some copper ones. Those are pretty good. To replace all that with copper and uh, disable auto repair on these. Just let them break. This right here is using up a lot of power. I could just turn off this. So if we go to shipping. See how this goes out here? I'm just going to disconnect that. So once those are empty, it's going to stop eating so much power. And again, I think this right here is eating a lot of petroleum. Which is also a problem. So I don't know if most of my petroleum is going towards power or the blast shot refinery. I think it's a mix of both. So this is active now. I'm just giving it a good look around. Let's see if I uh, see anything. <laughs> 